joining me on Startup Report today is the founder and CEO of The Penny Order, Kyle Taylor. Good to see you, sir. Thank you, Joe. Um, so I've, I've really enjoyed watching your journey. And of all the founders that I interact with, a lot of them, you've, you've always struck me as the one that is really the most prepared to look around the corner hmm. and seeing, see what's next. You know, your business has an arc to it. There's, you know, there's, it's a moving target really with the, in the media space and the information space. And so how have you prepared for the changes, whether it be Google and Facebook or changing tastes, um, to, to prepare your, uh, your business for the third through seventh year? Thank you. I appreciate the, the compliment. Um, you know, I am, uh, I think why I do what I do is, um, I, I love media and always have every form of it. And I'm, I'm sort of a media junkie in, in that way. And so, um, that, uh, I, I do like to think about how people will interact with content in the future. And, uh, for us, um, it's, it's, I think too many publishers can get too focused on well, what about this platform or what about this new app? And um, instead, we really just try to focus on making great content. And that might mean that some platforms we're not a good fit for, but that's okay. I know in the end that if we are serving the reader, they'll find a way to find us. Right. So tracing media back even you know, to the 50s or 60s, it's, it's been on a path from very few key players, you know, three networks to four networks to cable. Mm-hmm. So there's been a dispersion of attention. Is that something that is going to level out or will that basically go till every media platform has seven listeners eventually? <laughs> um, so it's a little bit of both. So <laughs> I do think that, um, um, and we're currently in this phase too, there's a lot of consolidation happening in media and that's likely to continue. Mm-hmm. But the entry point to um, being able to join media is very easy. I mean, anybody can become a blogger or a YouTuber. And so on the one hand, there's like this democratization of being able to um, get information out there, but it is getting harder, um, I think, to be really big and successful. And the ones that are doing it well, I think, are the ones that have a relationship with their audience um, that's sort of unique and special to them right. that might not be through one of the big behemoths. So you, you started, you sort of fell into the penny order and you've, you've trained yourself to become a good entrepreneur. <laughs> so if you knew what you knew now and had to start over again and you couldn't do anything with media, where would you go? Uh, where would I go? So, um, you know, my, my, before I got into media, my passion was um, really politics mm-hmm. and it's still very much uh, that. I um Went to school for political science, although I didn't finish. And then I worked on political campaigns for eight years. And um, if the penny hoarder wasn't around, I'm, I'm sure I would be in that world. Yeah. So is this, yeah. this is official announcement of <laughs> running for mayor on Startup Report? No, no most no. definitely not. Most definitely not. Okay. I always love how um, politicians have to get through these different categorical no's. So <laughs> let me make this a categorical no. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate you stopping by and, uh, I know you're out, uh, you're working on SB 144 and I wish you luck with that and uh, I'll love to have you back again and talk further. Thanks, Joe. Thanks.